Hey guys, it's San and welcome back to my channel. So happy St. Patrick's Day. Today I'm going to be painting this wooden shamrock. Now if you watched recently, one of my videos was painting a wooden heart and that came from this same home set where the O is like a different interchangeable thing for the different holiday or season so if you watch that you'll notice that like a lot of these like it looks very homemade when it wasn't you can see some of the edges don't look so great the paint it doesn't look so great so i am painting all of these for the different holidays so we're doing the shamrock today so i'm just getting all my greens out i didn't end up using all of these greens but we started off with some of them so what i'm first gonna do is just make a very light green and paint the entire thing so we have a nice base to work with because I figured it would need a few coats and you might as well just start with one easy color coat that is one of the lighter colors that you're gonna be using and then you can go over with your darker coats that way when you're blending you don't need so many different coats of that color if that makes any sense at all but that's a trick you can use if you're gonna have to do a lot of blending in your art now originally I started off with using four colors for this shamrock and you'll see what happens, but I ended up getting rid of one of the colors because I just felt like it was too much. And then these are the, not the colors that I end up with in the very end. You'll see what happens there. But basically, I'm doing a gradient going dark to light on the little shamrock in the center from top to bottom. And then I'm just flipping that on the bigger shamrock. Now I'm also following the same gradient on the sides. And then here's where I eliminated one of the colors and so I'm just using these three colors and that still worked for my first coat. First coats can be kind of more messy. You don't need to like do all your blending perfectly. It can be more just like stripes. If you're doing a gradient, eventually you wanna like blend it all together. I mean, stripes are good too. It would have been fine. If you want to blend it together, you don't need to do that on the first coat. Here are my final colors that, oh no, they're not my final colors. I don't think they're my final colors. Yeah, there was one I ended up not liking. I'm using Craft Smart paint and yeah. So I just made three. This is when I decided that I was gonna do just the three colors. So here I'm doing more of the blending and actually making it look how I want it to look when it's finished. So I'm just taking my lighter green and then my middle green and just going back and forth between the two colors. And then sometimes you will take like two different paintbrushes to blend it sometimes you'll take one paintbrush and on half of the paintbrush you get the one color and half you get the other color and then sometimes you just take like a dry paintbrush and you just kind of mix it together and it's a lot of just going back and forth until eventually you see it how you want it to be I 
realized that my color was just not the right color. I didn't like the tone of it. So I took and made some new colors. And then these are the final colors that I went with. And then what I did was made lighter versions of them for the inside shamrock. The outside shamrock is slightly darker than the inside shamrock. I just added, I just took those same colors and just added a little bit of white to them. And again, it was just a lot of blending back and forth between the three colors to just make it look very seamless. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is I'm taking a very small detail paintbrush and I'm just going to paint all around the edges of the inside shamrock. I am painting that black. I went back and forth about doing this, but I really felt like it needed something else. It was just a little too boring how it was. There wasn't like, it needed something else. So that's what I decided to do. I painted it black first and this definitely took quite a while, but I wanted to make it very precise. And so I took my black, painted it all over, and that was like a base coat for my rose gold, which I painted over on top of that. That didn't take as long because I already had the like base of like the precise lines already down. And that's how I decided to paint this shamrock. So I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day and I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I really like how this turned out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching until next time bye